All right, welcome back. Uh, my guest this morning to help me do the conversation to my uh, right is Member of Parliament for the Futu constituency of the Central Region, Honorable Alexander Fenyamaki. Good morning. Morning. And hope you had a great weekend. Well, it's been a tiring weekend going around campaigning. Mm. Having less sleep is not easy, <laughs> but we're managing. It is well. Yeah. Welcome once again. And then to my left is uh, a Deputy Communications Minister, Felix Kwachofusu. Good morning, too. I hope your weekend was great, too. Well, it was. I mean, to the extent that I was also actively involved in the 2016 campaign. I okay. uh, was in the Eastern Region mostly mm. over the weekend to help out. With the were the vice president? Yes, okay. I was. I was the vice president at some point. Okay. I also had to veer off to Akwetia mm. uh, in order to help uh, Honorable Obadjama uh, with his campaign launch. Mm. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Grateful for your time this morning. Let's start. Uh, lo this story has uh, a lot of uh, coverage. The Ghanaian Times put it: pilot arrested for offensive statements against uh, President. Uh, the Daily Guide says BNI detains NPP man over Green Book and Mahama. Uh, the Ghana Observer says BNI arrests journalist over Mahama. A lot of other uh, newspapers have a story. Uh, let me start with Honorable Afinio Makin. Now, uh, some have said that uh, uh, this uh, is not too good. The fact that he's been arrested and detained for more than 48 hours, as, as is being alleged by some of the newspapers, uh, they think that uh, it is not too good. Well, thank you, um, and uh, good morning to our. Yes. Let me anchor my submissions on the headline mm. by the Ghanaian Times. The Ghanaian Times, right. That the person has been arrested for offensive comments against the president. Right. At least for the Ghanaian Times, it's a, uh, a state owned uh, uh, newspaper. So it is expected that they would be more objective as compared to perhaps the, the private papers that one may say that, oh, these are pro-NPP papers. So if the Ghanaian Times is saying that the person has been arrested merely because he's alleged to have made statement against the president, then it makes one sad that in this our dispensation, mm. should a person be arrested by the BNI because he's made an offensive comment? Why? What offensive comment? What was the nature of, of this? And should it take the BNI to go to the airport as lay ambush, arrest him, not giving him access to his lawyers for more than 48 hours? When we have serious issues, fishermen in this country are complaining for not having access to premix. Are you suggesting anybody at all can say anything about the presidency because there's freedom of speech? Is that what you're suggesting? I haven't said so. The constitution is clear mm. that if you go beyond it, you have your freedom, but you must respect the right of the people. Right. So what specifically did he say against the president that warranted his arrest? I'm sure that the BNI must demonstrate true fairness in their dealings. Mm. They are not above the law. We are aware of recent event where BNI take the law into its hands, arrest people without giving them access to their lawyers and all that. But we have other serious matters of national interest. We know that fishermen don't get access to premix because people are involved in all manner of smuggling. The premix committees at the district level, don't we have district BNI officers? Don't we have district uh, security committees? What have they been doing about that? The Galamse operations. People are cutting down their cocos for Galamse. What is the BNI doing about it? Is BNI there to protect the interests of the state or just merely to be going after people just to put the fear of God in them? Is it what they are there to do? That's what you're suggesting. They are is it to what do? the BNI or is there to do? you're asking questions. Because, yes, of course. We hear them always going around arresting people merely because they think that they've done something against certain uh, high-profile individuals, what exactly did this man say? What exactly did he say against the president that they considered it too serious a statement warranting his arrest? I think the BNI must know that it is not an agent of a political entity. It is a state institution, and they must live above board. They mm -hmm. should know that their work is not there to protect individuals. They are not an appendage of the NDC in government, 
but it is a state institution. They are paid from the state coffers. And it is expected that some of these petty conduct would... would, would so, so, so per, per, perhaps uh, if you are there, the state institution, isn't it perhaps your work that they are doing? Arresting people? People For who, what? who make uh, comments that are offensive. I mean, when the no. Moutier 3 made those comments against... They uh, never arrested them. The BNI, they never, the BNI, they never, the BNI issued a statement. The BNI that, picked them. No, they didn't pick them. They issued their own statement. The BNI mm. statement there was that they invited them, the people themselves uh, 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 turned themselves in, mm. they engaged them in some interrogation and all that. They interrogated them and even found that they didn't have the capacity to the, do what, uh, okay. what they had said on air. So they didn't see the need to detain them as it were. But there was a sharp contradiction. When the the, the judges pronounced on the on, on the comment made by the by the the, the, the Munte three, mm. you remember they said they were expecting the judges expected the BNI and the Attorney General to take the matter up. Okay? Which they failed. This was a serious matter. But mm. because of politics the me and I didn't see the need to detain them or even go further. They only so, came with a statement that, oh, we, we think they didn't have the capacity. And even so, it was not an arrest. Okay. They didn't arrest them. So, so if, they gave them access would, to their would, lawyers. Would the BNI be okay if they suggest that now they want to take these matters up by uh, inviting uh, uh, the man in, in question to its offices? By the way, let's ask a legal question. If I make an offensive statement against my brother here, is it... Does it clothe the BNI or the security agencies with jurisdiction to come after me and ask me questions about why, as to why I said certain things against Felix? We're talking about the presidency. Well, I'm asking a legal question. The law covers everybody. Mm. Unless you threaten the president, you've threatened the president, okay? Then it becomes a security matter. I'm saying merely criticizing the president. Granted that the man criticized the president as a person, as a head of state, I say that, look, criticizing the president or making offensive comments about the president, mm. making criticizing the president is not wrong. Okay. Making very personal offensive comments against any individual, not only the president, is totally wrong. Okay? Not only the president. Making offensive statements against individuals is very wrong. And such individuals who are affected have the right to pursue their interests or get their rights restored in court. So if anybody had said something offensive, granted this man said something offensive and did not merely criticize, the president has a right. Mm. The president has a right to sue. Okay? But to arrest the person because you allege that in a statement is made, in his writings, certain things are false and that you disagree with the person must not must not be the basis is it for the case that the Mr. President someone? directed because the BNI cannot on its own arrest this man. They cannot. They must get some sanctioning. They must get they must get some authorization. If it was against the president, the man has made a statement against the president. Is it the case that our president has become so intolerant because of late? His communicators have created the impression that Mr. President is such a tolerant politician. He tolerates everybody. He tolerates criticisms. He himself said that he's been so much criticized when he went to Salaga and he was trying to attack Nanado with, because we have internal party issues and the party uh, structures have acted in a manner that would ensure that people don't take the law into their hands in the party. Mr. President found that to be wrong and went personally against Nanado that Nanado is not tolerant. Now, for, for a man to write about the president or to criticize the president only to be detained by the BNI means that the president himself is not as tolerant as he wants the whole world okay. to, to, to see him to be. L let because me, he, they did so at his base. Let me put that question to Felix. He is a deputy communication, so perhaps he has more information that uh, we do not know. Felix, is it that the president uh, authorized the, the arrest of uh, the man in question? Well, uh, Alex is a lawyer, so he, more than anybody else, should know. Mm. 
that the BNI acts within the ambit of the law, and that their enabling legislation gives them the power to arrest anybody they perceive to have acted in a way that is prejudicial to the security of the state. Right. They don't require anybody's sanction to be able to carry out such an arrest. And I, I like you know this. So let me debunk it right from the beginning, that the president had anything at all to do with this arrest. Again, before one proceeds to comment on this matter, it's important for us to be abreast of all the facts. Let me start off by saying that it is not true that the Montier three were not arrested by the BNI. They were arrested by the BNI. They were detained by the BNI and released after the BNI were satisfied that they had enough information to proceed on the matter. So the claim by Alex that they were not arrested is completely untrue. I don't know why he would make such claims. In fact, if they had not arrested them, on what basis did they come to the conclusion that they had investigated the matter and that people did not possess the capacity to carry out the threats that they were making? So something is certainly wrong somewhere for anybody to make that kind of allegation. Now, the BNI has not arrested this gentleman simply because he made offensive comments. Scan the airwaves today. All manner of offensive comments will be made against the president. Mm. Nobody will get arrested. This gentleman made very specific accusations against the president of the Republic of Ghana. Now, you must appreciate that the BNI is a state agency, and they have the mandates to act in ways that preserve the security of the state. The president is the head of the state. Now, when you make allegations that border on criminality, that border on the suitability of the president to occupy the office of the president, then the BNI has a mandate to look into those specific allegations. Now, this Fadi Dabusi gentleman is a known MPP activist. They claim that he is a, right, he's a, he's a journalist. I don't believe he is. I think that he's one of the colonies that they use to churn out a lot of untruths. But it's not simply about the untruth. The things that he writes are so despicable that I have great difficulty repeating some of the things that he wrote that necessitated a BNI inviting him for questioning. Now, I'm going to read the first paragraph mm. of an article he wrote just for the purpose of illustration. I, ordinarily, I would not have read it. And let me apologize to your station that I even have to reread what exactly, uh, is, just is so that offensive. Exactly. And it's not just about the offense. You listen to what he says. He says that the title is John Mohammed's Promiscuity Gives Him HIV by Fadi Dabusi. A revelation made by a former aide de camp of President John Dramani Mahama shows how unreasonable and lewd the presidency has become. Major Francis Nyani Ezua exposed the president's inability to keep his bed birdie in his niche, wanting to bunk every woman that walked that the earth with total disregard to the divine philosophies of life, decency, and protocols of association. It is shocking to note that word making the rounds claims that John Dramani Mama had had a deep sexual affair with the wives of the criminal Mugabe Masi of the Muntie gang, a pastor, as well as the current Ghanaian ambassador to the Czech Republic, all at the Pediasi Lodge at Ebri, notwithstanding the recent scandal of Otunfo Asante and his daughter, who is parading a three-month-old pregnancy purportedly caused by a shameful affair between the two. Now, right. That's Fadi. That's Fadi Dabusi. You believe that when somebody pens such a scurrilous article about the president of any country, no security agency should take action. And at the very least, find out the basis of this write-up. Mm. He alleges against the president of this country that he has HIV. When you say the president of a country has HIV, it is the business of the state security agencies to, to find, find out. out. That's what you're if you go and make such an allegation against the president of the United States, you will be investigated. And this Fadi Dabuzi gentleman is half Ghanaian and half Lebanese. Do you believe that if you go to Lebanon today, and you are a journalist, and write as a Ghanaian journalist, this sort of thing about the Lebanese prime minister, you will walk scot free and no effort will be made to apprehend you to find out the basis of this write-up. And let me apologize once again for reading it. I mean, when I read, look at, I, I could imagine the shock on your face, and perhaps the shock amongst viewers this morning. This is the sort of conduct that Alex is seeking to defend. So the BNI simply did not go and pick up Fadi Dabusi simply because he was having tea in his house. But it was for con and he's written several of them. Anybody mm -hmm. can Google his name and find out the sort of things that you write. There's a difference between criticizing the president and questioning his capacity to run this country or questioning some decision that he's made. We can debate the merits or demerits of that criticism. Mm -hmm. But to go out of your way 
to make these accusations against the president goes to the very heart of the preservation of the sanctity of the institution of the presidency. And it is the business of any self-respecting security agency to look into the matter. They are, of course, bound to act within the law. And the BNI right. in this instance have acted within the law. First of all, it is not true that Fadi didn't have access to his lawyer. He was interrogated in the presence of his lawyer. What Most of the that papers are reporting that his lawyer said he had no access again, to him. Again, there's a gentleman called Tampulia. Yes. Who uh, came to the BNI claiming to be Dabusi's lawyer. The BNI officials went in and asked the gentleman, Fadi, whether he knew this gentleman, that he was his lawyer. He said, no, I didn't know him. If somebody comes to BNI purporting to be a suspect lawyer, and the suspect denies knowledge of that lawyer, do you expect, do you expect the BNI to allow him access? Mm. When his lawyer eventually came, he was given access to him. He was interrogated in front of his lawyer. And the statements that he gave the BNI were not in the presence of his lawyer. So it is not true that he was not given access to his lawyer. He was arrested on Friday and released yesterday. The 48 hour rule was abided by. But the principle that we must establish clearly mm. is that when you make certain allegations or accusations against certain state institutions. It is a business of security agencies to look into it. Look, I have stated on your program on many occasions that I am irrevocably opposed to imprisoning anybody for what they have said. And I made that point clearly when the Muntier matter came out. But investigating something that somebody has said with a view to getting to the bottom of specific allegations made is something that the law allows and we cannot have a difficulty with. It is when people are more treated. For instance, if you went in and there was evidence of torture against him mm. or any unlawful mechanism used to extract information from me, then we can begin to criticize the BNI. But simply inviting him to find out the truth or otherwise of what he has said is something that we must permit. And indeed, if you... I have spoken to the BNI to find out the details of this matter. It is imagined that he admitted that he did this simply because the Africa Watch magazine had published the medical records on Anna Kufuado. And that, and that he was... Mm so offended that he thought that he should do something in retaliation. Look at his logic. And he mentioned the two name in Absolutely. And you see, if I were Alex and members of the MPP, I would tarry in this matter. The gentleman in question is making a scurrilous accusation against the Asantini. You draw a large chunk of your votes from that region. And the overlord of that region has come under attack from this gentleman. And you are all running to his defense. What are you telling the people of that region? That you have no regard for, for, for their revered king. So they must, they must be cautious in the things that they say. Now, I was coming to the, the motivation that he, 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 he said he drew inspiration from to do this sort of It is alleged thing. that's what he said. Yes, that is what he said. Okay. I have no difficulty or I have no reason to disbelieve what the BNI is saying. Indeed, otherwise, what, what motivation could one have other than political, political motivation? What can motivate somebody to write this sort of things about any other individual for that matter, let alone the president of a republic, other than the desire to deliberately tarnish the reputation of the president for political, uh, what call it, uh, 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 purposes. If a, a magazine publishes the health records of your candidate, is it not the, the business of the candidate himself or anybody that he so designates to take on that magazine and ascertain the truth or otherwise of that publication? As we speak, there has been no formal effort mm. to get the Africa Watch newspaper to re, uh, retract what they wrote. There has been no effort to even dispute it forcefully with evidence, so that everybody is satisfied that Nanado does not suffer from those diseases. Now, you Nanado's think that... doctor has come out to say well, that I he's Nanado examined doctor. the man he, and he's You see, we are not discussing... And, and listen, listen, we are right. not discussing that matter. Mm. But if you listen carefully to Nanado's doctor, you know that he was less than candid. First of all, he says that he has been Nanado's doctor for two years. The report that the Africa Watch magazine published was dated 2014. He was asked whether Nanado had been to the Wellington Hospital before. He says... He cannot tell. Meanwhile, we all know that a basic principle in medical practice is that when you take up a patient, you look at his medical history. So he would know, as a matter of fact, whether Anadu had been there or had not been there. But that is not the matter we are discussing today. We are discussing. We, we I do raised it. Yes. Yeah. I, mm. I wanted to make sure Go that ahead. yes, yeah. when you said there was no uh, official denial, yeah. would you have recommended the BNI mm -hmm. invited uh, uh, Fadi from his home and not picked him on arrival from the airport? Well, I'm aware that they had made several attempts to question him over this mm. publication. Mm. As for the mode of arrest, again, it is not unlawful. It is a mandate of the people. Exactly, it is not unlawful. Why? We have been in this country when people have been arrested in church before. Don't forget that. Chajuji Kata, he was arrested in church. The former auditor general, Nana Osei Tutu Pempe, that's his name, he was arrested whilst attending church. People have been picked up from planes before. People have been smoked out to their hideouts. So as for where you are arrested, for me, it is not material. 
it is about how you are treated, whether or not the mode of your arrest was violent or your, your rights were violated in any way. I'm mm. saying that in this instance, no such violation has occurred. Mm. But let there not be falsehood that he was arrested simply because he made offensive comments. Some have even claimed that he was arrested because he published the book. That book was published months ago, if I'm not mistaken. So it is not the basis upon which he was arrested. He was arrested for these specific allegations relating to the suitability, because these things go to the suitability of the president to continue in the office that he's holding. And it's a security matter. Mm. And there's no person or no security agency in this world that will sit aloof. And I'm asking the question, in Lebanon, where this gentleman comes from, can you go and write this about the Lebanese prime minister and go scot free? I don't think that we should we should allow that. And in mm. doing so, let us refrain from bringing in politics. It has nothing to do with his political calibration. The Munti Yetre, who are perceived to be NDC, were questioned. Indeed, I can go in and give you an instance of an NDC gentleman who said something on the plane and was arrested and detained by the BNI for investigations, after which he was released when they found that there was really nothing to it. So these are the facts of this matter. All right. I'm grateful. Uh, Alex, I, right. when you start, yes, when you started, I, I asked if uh, just anybody saying anything on the presidency isn't that damaging enough. But if, in, if indeed this is what Mr. Fadi wrote, what do you think about it? Right. First of all, let me address a rather unfortunate mischief in uh, Felix's uh, submissions. Look, in dealing with this matter, Felix intelligently smuggles in the Africa Watch publication on the alleged medical records of Leonardo. That the man is said to have oh, oh, said that because of the, that. The, the, that I, 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 I will, I will come that. I'll, okay. I'll come to that in a moment. Okay. He intelligently smuggles in Nanado's uh, medical record as allegedly reported by Africa Watch and states emphatically that he even disagrees with the statement made by the doctor of Nanado to debunk that publication yes. and tries to question it. When you I see, you see how emotional, a denial you about see it. how okay. emotional the NDCs are when certain things so unwarranted are said about their leader, but rather tries to try to justify their stance when it comes to issues about Nanado. You see the double tank? You see his mischief? As for John Mahama, he has blood running through his brain, his veins. But Nanado has no blood running through his veins. Alex, what is your point here? I'm, I'm not on. getting your point. Hold on. I want to question Felix whether if that what was said in African Watch had been said about the president, he would have been quiet about saying, please, what Africans watch published had nothing, had nothing to do with Nanadu's medical records. It was absolute falsehood. All right. And it doesn't need Nanadu to come out. All the things that they said, today you want to just, and I want to invite him on a debate on this matter. Any day. If today, if today, uh, if uh, to, uh, please, uh, please. Uh, Alex. Right, right. Uh -huh. right let, him, let him be quiet for a moment. I think, I think you, have, you have stated categorically that the African Watch report isn't hold, the hold, truth. Hold, hold so on. I think we can I'll get, that one Then there. I'll get it. Okay. If in one breath, you so insane about a thing said about Mr. President, then I expect you to demonstrate the same candor when it comes to certain allegations about do we have why hasn't african watch gone into the president's uh, medical hasn't the president been visiting his doctors in south africa are you asking a no 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 i'm asking okay. hasn't he been visiting his doctors in south africa do we know why he visited his doctors don't let us get there you see if we are dealing with issues let's deal with issues now from what he read if i'm supposed to be objective in 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 dealing with this matter and without any politics I want to generally state that it is wrong for anybody to go personal, say things against people for whatever reason, go personal, attacking people, personalities. I do not agree. If you say it about me, I would be offended, and I wouldn't want to say it against another person, and I wouldn't want to endorse any falsehood published by anybody against an individual. Mm. But let's look at the context within which this whole discussion is being situated. He tells us this morning, he tells us this morning that he has called the BNI and the BNI has informed him that, oh, the man did this and that and all that. So today, the BNI will disclose its conclusions, its preliminary findings to you on phone. And then you become, you become the basis for your discussion. He's this a morning. deputy minister of oh, Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. 
You see, you are a deputy minister. But the BNI, according to him, is a state institution right. with its own rights. Mm. It has its own jurisdiction. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, if a state institution like the BNI wants to be very responsible in its dealings, it should not be disclosing its preliminary findings or even where a person writes a statement. You go and give it to a deputy minister. You are only responsive to the, to the president. You are supposed but, to... But Hold the on. president has ah, people who no, work no, no, for no, 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 no. Let's get it right. Mm. If you want to do an objective analysis, you are a BNI, you are a security officer of the state. A man comes and issues... We know we have various forms of statement. Okay? He writes an ordinary statement. Or you caution him. Was a man cautioned? You see, when you are interrogated, you either do the interrogation and after that, if you think that the matter is not too serious... The man can give you an ordinary statement. Now, if you think that you are investigating a specific offense, you as the person supposed to be cautioned. Now, the BNI cannot just investigate. You investigate on the basis of an offense. So if the BNI is saying that the man gave a, in a caution statement mm. said that I felt bad because somebody said wrote about the, the Nanado. By the way, we know it as a fact. That the NDC sponsored that falsehood. Yes, can I you keep quiet? For okay. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, all so, right. so uh, if Alex, you say today, uh, if you say today that the BNI, the BNI calls you, called you and told you, or you called them and they told you that this is what the man, then the BNI itself is compromising okay. whatever that is doing in the interest by, of the by state. letting the exact communications man, ministry get to know man, what they did. Man. Okay. And all I, right. I contend, I contend that yes, maybe Mr. President was so incensed. From this morning's uh, submissions, it's obvious that Felix is telling out, telling all of us how the president feels about the supposed falsehood about him. But can the NDC, can the NDC, from today or forthwith, restra restrain its extremists from going all out attacking Nanado? If, uh, Alex, if they do, Alex, if let they, us look at the. I, I, just, I, I want us they, to stay focused on the issue now. It, it, you said what uh, the African Watch magazine published about Nanado. It's absolutely it, falsehood. And, and you that. think it is offensive. I'm asking you, the, uh, that's the first question I asked, yes. which you have not answered. What do you make of the statement that uh, Felix read about, what Mr. Fadi wrote about the president? Right. Perhaps you haven't paid enough attention to all the submissions. Mm. Now, let me repeat it, because you've asked. I am saying that generally, generally, I don't want to limit myself to this. But I am asking don't, a don't specific worry. question but, but about I, that. I, I agree. Mm. But for the benefit of all of us, this question is being asked in context. And we need to address it in that context and for its general effect, all right? All I'm saying is that anything false would publish against an individual is unacceptable. I have had an occasion, an, a situation where uh, Daily Post had published that Afonio Markin arrested for fraud, when I had not even been invited by the... And I made a statement on it on the floor of the house. Last year, June, okay, I have had, an, I have suffered that before, where people had published falsehood about me, mm. that I had no idea at all, and I was not happy with that. Okay. I'm saying that anything said against any politician, any Ghanaian, which is falsehood, it's unacceptable. In the case of the president, is it right or wrong that the BNI that went in? This is well, the case I'm, From of the what I said, Mr. President's case is no exception. So the BNI shouldn't have gone in to pick the man? My issue here is that if the man had said something about Mr. President, does it become a criminal offense? I've raised a legal question. In our, in our laws and in the... Uh, the BNI's own law that clothed with jurisdiction. Mm. If somebody makes an offensive statement against the president, does that statement become a criminal offense? In what context? How would we weigh the statement and consider same to be I see. a security threat? I, I, I so wish, that is what I, I, we have I wish we could just uh, 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 answer this question and we'll move on. Because I'm, I'm looking at the statement uh, Felix read and the fact that the man said the president had HIV, and that, that is a security issue. And that's what I'm asking. Y y y should the BNI have gone in to pick the man? Listen, you see, Felix is doing communication for the <laughs> government. Okay, you should right. expect I, some I, I, dosage of 
some dosage of uh, uh, tinted. You okay. Know. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. So it means that the information he read that is not even right. Because we cannot rely. Okay. We, let's move we on. We cannot rely. I, I understand. We cannot let's rely wholly on, 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 on what he read. On what, okay. Because he's not made all right. available to us. Right. Okay. Everything right. that is allegedly right written that he to, had. Okay. He, he, I understand. He, I agree. He does not have the capacity. I agree with what you're saying. That it's the information is to him alone. He does not have the capacity because if the BNI has issued a statement. Why? What is wrong? Okay. The FBI, I, I, CIA I'm grateful. I am grateful. The BNI should come out and tell us why, what okay. specifically I'm led grateful. to the arrest. I'm grateful. You're, you're what saying that what Felix you? read might not be the truth. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously. Grateful. That is what you think. Okay, uh, Felix. Is he, is he oh. Let's move on to another I, I, I've observed with considerable amusement the way that my brother Alex has skirted around the issue and refused to go for the bull's eye in the matter. What I read is available online. Any viewer watching can just Google his name, Fadi Dabuzi. All his articles will pop up, and you can see the article that I have just read. I'm not going to repeat it because it is so distasteful. I only read it just to draw attention to the gravity of the claims that he made mm. against the president. But anybody mm. interested can just Google it. I'm sure you can get your producers mm. to even do it so that before we close, they bring you a copy for you to read mm. some okay. of the things that he's written about the president. Not that or the president has said should come out and deny that no, he is not, not the one. Is he, who, no, no, no. You see, he doesn't okay. even write anonymously, he puts he his, put name his name to it. Back. And he okay. admitted this in the well, interview. All right. so we'll, the second we'll, point is that. I'm a deputy minister for communications. I speak for government. It is the business of government to know exactly what is happening in the country. So if a security agency is carrying out some investigation relating to the president, it is my business to the extent that I coordinate government information to find out exactly what is happening. So if I put out that information, it is perfectly legitimate. The people of Ghana have a right to know. Mm. Added to that is the fact that the BNI have spoken to the Daily Graphic, which is a state uh, uh, newspaper. Mm. The Ghanaian Times has published it. And all of them carry the story and explain why uh, it is so. So when Alex deliberately questions my capacity to speak about this, I know that he's doing political means. He knows fully well that it is a place of a government official like myself mm. to find out what is happening in order to give information to the public. And I've simply related it. The other point about the Africa Watch thing, you see, I only highlighted it to show that what the guy did was politically motivated. Because as you can see, you can tell right away from even the first, very first paragraph that this is fabricated. It doesn't first of all make sense. It is fabricated and no such thing has happened. So it is important to find out why he would do such a thing. And I've told you why he did that. As for the specific issues raised by Africa Watch, why? Africa Watch, it will not be the first time that they've published the health records of any public official or uh, any public figure. About two, three months ago, they published that former President Rollins had a specific ailment. What did the former president do? He strenuously denied it and got his lawyers to write formally to Africa Watch, contesting the claims that they have made. In this instance, you said that Nanado's doctor had spoken. Right. And I thought that, yes, I had heard But Nanado. you also said you have heard him speak. I have, yeah, I said right. that I had heard okay. him speak. But if somebody speaks, it is a right of people listening to him to question the logic or the basis of the claim that he's making. And I have told you that what he said does not amount to a robust defense. That's what you think. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, no, okay. no, you see, you right. see, you see, you see, Brian, let's just get a few wow. facts straight. Mm. And again, the MPP have never been opposed to the discussion of the health of public <laughs> officials, have they? I can give you a litany wow. of evidence, including okay. Anado himself. Uh, all right. Publicly. We, we keep, we, publicly. We, 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 no, no, I, I won't. Felix, I won't let's move on. on. I, I, I think. I think. No, no, let me make my point. Let me make my point. Felix, land, land, let's move on. Let me make my point. Felix, land, let's move on. I can give you instances of Anado himself publicly intervening in the discussion of the health of no, no, right. President John, sorry, John Atamils. Okay. So if a, a newspaper or a magazine publishes a health record of Leonardo, mm. it is public information that can be discussed. Okay. Right. I, I'm we have said, I'm let me grateful. finish my point. Okay. We have said that, we have said that we are never going to make the health of anybody an issue. But if somebody publishes something like that, the response to it is not to come and make such scandalous accusations against the president. So the BNI have not just gone to pick up somebody. And again, let me give you something. We have been in this country before. Under the MPP, are you aware that in 2001, the BNI picked up Honorable E.T. Minsa. And you know why? They said that he had whispered <laughs> something okay. into the ears of somebody after the May 9th okay. uh, uh, tragedy at the Rice right. Boss Studio. Okay, they Felix. have picked up people uh, for things they have said before, uh, if, including Felix, the whisper. I'm, I'm grateful. Right, including the whisper. I'm so if the BNI can arrest somebody for just a whisper, and I wonder exactly what they would have heard for them to find it, uh, uh, what do you call it, reasonable <laughs> okay. to arrest them. Okay. But this, Felix Kratio for since a deputy communication. I am grateful. So I am grateful for your time. Let's yeah. conclude oh, on this. Alex, matter. I no, thought no, we were moving no, on. No, the vice president no, are, has made are, a very... No, don't worry. We are concluding on this. But just on two quick submissions. Felix claims okay. that the BNI spoke to the Ghanaian Times newspaper. 
Well, well, but in the public, it's only Ghanaian times. No, your, 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 your microphone is yeah, covered. My, Ghanaian Ghanaian times, mm -hmm. which is quoting the BNI. It is only referring to a 59 uh, a book authored by the gentleman. Two, mm -hmm. Felix should not forget mm -hmm. that not too long ago, mm -hmm. this same African watch, which you recently sponsored, Oh, to we're going, again, we're again, going again, back to Africa and watch. I, I, I thought we'd we'll stay away from the African watch. Oh, let me finish. No, no, right, let me finish. Let me finish. He shall allow me to finish. Speak to your don't worry, I would do not. That's okay. Don't worry, I am. I am. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to do that. Right. Fair hearing. Mm. Yeah. He should listen to me. So we I'll do the same thing. Okay, Felix, you listen to him. When I finish, the bank's in, please. Yeah. Our contention in MPP is that the NDC sponsored the African... You cannot okay, no, uh, Felix, uh, you see, no, F F F F uh, Alex, I, I, I don't want please. us to turn this worry, discussion into the African that. Watch report. No, no, no. The vice president says that. something here very important. He's urging nurses to debate, accept I, government I decisions. I my good friend. Wait. I know how he does it. Don't worry. But I will address it. Don't worry. He knows why he brought it in. And we'll deal it. He smuggled another one in and he's struggling to get it surviving on this platform. Don't worry. The point is that the African Watch was sponsored by the NDC. But that is completely false. It is let me finish for you. So let me finish for you to the bank. It's all right. Who sponsored President Wallace's publication? I will get to that. Yeah, I'll that. get to that. Really? Not too long ago. Not too long ago. <laughs> the same African Watch mm -hmm. was sponsored by, who? by some unknown individuals who did their own part to, to publish certain things about the president, oh. which is similar <laughs> to what Fadi has published. <laughs> by the way, by the way, he is saying that we should have uh, banned it. Okay. Uh, did the Felix. president debunk what uh, uh, was Felix, I am, I am grateful. No, no. I have, I have did, only did 10 more minutes. Debunk, can we? Did the president can we? Let can, me land with no, my you, question. No, you have right. landed. Right, right. he asked me a question. Because, no. In all, I, fairness, I in all fairness, he's asked a question. I'm asking on this platform, did Mr. President debunk all the things said about by African Watch about him? Did he write, did he get his lawyers to write to African Watch? Okay. Did, did I, the I, BNI arrest the African Watch editor? Did he cause for... Did he, did he cause editor, for... Okay. Okay. I, 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 I am grateful. The things he said, I am grateful. The things the African I, Watch published... I uh, Alex, to what Fadi has said, which you, have, you find uh, Alex, boring. okay, I'm grateful. Let's move on. I'm going to you the Ghanaian Times. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the Ghanaian Times this morning. And uh, the vice president is talking about uh, um, training nurses. He's asking them to accept government replacement of the allowances with uh, student loans in good faith since the policy is in the national interest. And according to him, government wants the best for training nurses and the nursing profession in general and will not introduce policies that will harm the trainees, uh, he was talking or speaking to some students of the Saviour Church Nursing Training College at Osim in the Eastern Region. Right, Felix, now this is an issue that is uh, becoming a, a campaign uh, issue, quite interesting here. The Vice President is pleading that nurses should accept the replacement of the uh, uh, allowances. Yeah, it's, it's an important subject um, because of you know, partisan considerations the MPP especially, has gone about dabbling in very shallow opportunism, you know, trying to take advantage of genuine sentiments of nursing trainees and mm. to some extent teacher trainees to harvest political gain. In the process, they have distorted government's true intentions and they have distorted the imports of some policies that we've implemented. Now, what has happened is that <coughs> over a period of time, some incentives were introduced to encourage more people to get into teaching and nursing because we had considerable shortfalls in that area. So governments have either brought in some allowances or withdrawn them, depending on the circumstance. Mm. Now, in 2008, the MPP itself passed a new educational uh, legislation, and I'm sure Alex is familiar with it, which made all teacher training colleges colleges of education. In other words, they had been upgraded to tertiary status. You recall that here, too, it was... University of Cape Coast and University of Education Winneba in this constituency who were tertiary institutions training teachers. Right. But all teacher training institutions were now made colleges of education. Immediately that happened, it created a certain distortion. What had happened was that whereas their colleagues in the other tertiary institutions were benefiting from students' loans to support their education, mm. they were getting allowances. So there was serious inequity. So government said we will simply replace so that you still have money to support your education. Except at this time, when you start teaching, we will do minor, small, small deductions so that I use it to defray the cost. And that is how all of us went through university. When I went to Key University, apart from what my parents gave me, I also took the student's loan. And when I started working, it was deducted. Recently, I checked and noticed that I had paid it up. 
So assimilating was introduced uh, in the nursing training institutions. Now there are tertiary nursing training institutions that qualify to, to uh, that whose students qualify to mm. take uh, what call it students allowances. Oh, I beg your pardon. Who students qualify to take students' loans? The loans, right. But there are non-tertiary nursing institutions who, by law, cannot assess the students' loan because the Students Loan Trust Act or uh, Student Loan Trust Act does not allow them, does not allow non-tertiary students to access loans. Mm. So, government is taking steps to ensure that we amend the relevant portion of that act so that people in non-tertiary nursing training institutions or health training institutions can also assess their loan. In between time, we thought that it would be unfair to trainees in those institutions not to have any mechanism to support the education. So instead of giving them a full allowance, they've been given an abated Re allowance. Reduced it allowance. Reduced, it's abated. That's what uh, uh, abated means. Reduced mm. allowance mm. to help them get along. But in due course, early next year, the right amendment will be done so that they can also access the student's loan. So this is what the vice president was explaining. The NPP is claiming that they will restore allowances. They don't know. That there is actually a document, okay, that was supposed to guide the preparation of the 2008 budget, in which they state categorically that allowances in teacher training institutions were going to be scrapped, an MPP document, as part of the preparation towards the budget of 2008. Again, they've gone about claiming that now nurses cannot be employed, that there are no jobs for nurses. Yet, the evidence shows that this is a government that has built more health facilities than any other. The University of Ghana Teaching Hospital, which, by the way, is funded by the government of Ghana through a loan. And I've heard people claim that it's an investor that is, it is not true. He is in parliament. He can tell you that it is a loan government got from the Hapwalim Bank of Israel, which was passed by parliament, $217 million. So it is money from government that is being used to finance it for the university. Mm. When they finish, Would anybody uh, be wrong if the person says government just facilitated the it loan? No, no. Okay. There's a facilitation means that, for instance, former, unless uh, it's going to get a loan. The former GMA boss a Again, it is not correct. For instance, yeah. unless it's going to get a loan. And then he says that, oh, I beg you, perhaps you have a big financial uh, what called muscle. So guarantee the loan for me so that in the event that I default, you can support me. That is not what happened. Government, the investor of Ghana requested that they needed a medical training institution. Government then went out and looked for the money itself. So the loan agreement is between the government of Ghana and the bank in Israel. It is not between the University of Ghana and the bank in Israel. So let me clarify. The GMA General Secretary got it wrong. But the point I was going to make substantively is that that uh, hospital alone is going to employ about 600 nurses. Look at Ridge. Hundreds of nurses will get opportunities. Look at all the district hospitals, all the regional hospitals that we are constructing, all the CHIPS compounds. And CHIPS compounds are such that they are actually manned by nurses alone. You don't even need a doctor. So if there's any period in our history where more opportunity exists for mm. nurses to be employed. It is now. Okay. So the claim that nurses will not find employment is completely untrue. But mm. as for the issue of allowance, it is just a replacement. It is not that they will not get money to finance their education. Except that this time, instead of getting an allowance, you will get a loan which you will pay over a long period of time okay. when you finish with Felix, it. I'm grateful. Yeah. Uh, Alex, uh, uh, the NPP, uh, the NDC says, look, in order to get more people in it, let, let us cut the allowance, go for the loan. And the MPP is saying that, no, we will give you uh, the allowance, restore the allowance, and still make access, improve access. First of all, let's ask this simple question. How much does it cost a year to pay for nursing training allowances? You see, if government really wants to be sincere, it should be transparent, come out with the facts, give us the figures so that if indeed it's a genuine case, mm. we can support you. But I think that as part of the IMF conditionalities, they've gone for an extended credit facility. They've been given so many conditions. They are supposed to uh, sack public sector workers come January. Okay. They <laughs> are supposed to freeze recruitment in certain sectors. This has affected the health sector in one way or the other because there are a lot of nurses who have graduated and are not finding jobs. They are sitting at home. In Winneba, I have a college of nursing and I have some of my, my, my people who have graduated, graduated and have not been engaged. They are sitting at home. It's a fact. They've not been posted and they are using technicalities uh, as justification. This is reality because it's guided, it is... It is dictated by government policy. They know. Now, if today you have spent over $200 million to pay penalties 
to a Chinese financier because you could not meet pre-disbursement requirements. If today you have paid 299 million Ghana cities for a failed policy like SADA and you are suffering, now we say SADA. Why, why should... But how can you why make such should a SVP statement that SADA has failed? Right. Why do you allow him to make such a SVP statement <laughs> no, but, without Felix, providing any particulars? Uh, uh, Felix, you allow him. I'll, I'll yeah, come but to it, is, it is not proper. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a public platform. You uh, need to back the claims you make with evidence. No uh, such thing has happened as SADA. Uh, and we have not paid $200 million to a Chinese yes, financier. So that is why I'll come to you so because I don't have all, all the, all all the answers. You wait. That's Let him land and I'll come to you. Uh, Alex, please go on. After abusing so much of our resources, you turn around to come and tell us that you can't afford to pay teacher training allowances. You can't afford to pay nursing training allowances. And you yank off the genuine concerns of Ghanaians that if they won't vote you for you, they should go to hell. Is that, is that, is that responsible leadership? Is that competent leadership? So, uh, Alex, is that the so kind of hold on. Your point is that the is that, resources are there, but you are suggesting of course that they've abused they, it. They've not been. They've uh, because, uh, right. so because, because, right that because, 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 saying that they would draw teachers. So, 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 so no, it, no, it, no, it, no, no, you come there. No, right, uh, Alex, right, right, right. If I show respect to my colleague, I mean, I think. Okay, Alex, I, Alex, please go on because we're running out of time. Alex, please go on. No, no. If if it means I don't have to talk. Oh, for the oh, program no. to come to an end. <laughs> I'll fold my arm because... Alex, because yes. Alex you have to no, talk because... It means, he, no, he, he asked no, a question that you, I wanted you to answer. Then you should control no, this young man. Felix is okay. Yes, so you, you he's not intervening. Him. He's just heckling. Okay, oh, Felix right. won't now, intervene again. Alex, he, please He go. tells me that I should ground the issue of 200 million yeah, on fact. Specific. Hold on, hold on. I will do that. In 2015 November, the finance minister came to parliament to cap the CDB loan, mm -hmm. which was for $3 billion. And in coming to cap it at 1.5 billion, they took away the railway rehabilitation project out of it and the landing beach, which affected the futu, so that my fishermen will not get that fishing wharf to protect their canoes. They, they took it away. Now their, their, their justification was that they were losing so much money because the very conditions that the Chinese had given them were so stringent that, look, if you default, you pay their money. And per their own records, finance ministry's own records, the government had paid over $200 million to the Chinese for defaulting in, in their predisbursement, which right. was an okay. avoidable oh, oh, cost. All right. Oh, okay. Which was avoidable. So, so, so I'm giving him the fact. So, now uh, on SADA, mm -hmm. they borrowed at a compound interest. They issued coupons. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the coupons were supposed to last mature in 36 months. Which coupons matured in November 2015? Mm -hmm. At the time the coupons matured, Government of Ghana paid the value of the coupons mm -hmm. at the end of the 36 month yeah. was 299 million. Mm -hmm. Again, he should check from Atu Fossil. Yeah, if I, I am lying, hold okay. on. Uh, now, uh, government issued uh, a statement that Sada has failed and those people were paid to refund the money. Oh, oh, As we uh, speak, have we found that confess? Have we found the truth? Alex, 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 it is not fair. These are fair. I'm telling them that. You've had eight years. Alex, where you've had eight years. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Alex, hold on. You, you, you are you are just saying that I should give Felix uh, the opportunity to react as much. So, no, so if you just me. if you just wrap up, okay. Oh, very well. Right, I agree with you. You see, it's been eight years. It's been eight years. If you had had a child that day in two thousand and nine, that child would be eight and would be in class one or class two. That child would tell you who brought Kufor bars. If you go small question. Who introduced a, a metro man? You say Kufor. Who introduced health insurance? You say Kufor because the, the, the teacher would have taught that little boy who is eight years of all these things, all right, in social studies. I'm telling you that today we are suffering. There's hardship okay. in this country all right. because NDC has abused the limited resources of okay. the state. Right. Prepaid is expensive. We still are experiencing doomsaw, doomsaw for six years. Okay. Why do you turn okay, round? Alex. Why do you All turn around? Right. Why do you turn around and get the question that why? the nurses who are suffering last semester mm -hmm. and a student nurse could not write her exams because she had not paid her fees. Okay. She wet. Alex, I'm I went even uh, Alex, you, 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 I, I, I'm grateful. Uh, uh, and you don't, you are not sensitive. As you to just react to the issues about you Sada and then the, uh, and then there was a certain document. Up. What okay. document was that? Okay. Tell us 
what document was prepared by the NPP and which document. But uh, you, you, uh, you have not no, denied no, it. No, uh, it's not uh, 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 budget. Don't mind uh -huh, it. Okay. Don't so mind that, okay. All right. Don't mind it. But where is that document? It is a document. By the way, if there was any document, you are saying why? Today you say why am I? Of course, why am I? Okay. No, why am I? I've been by Why am I? I'm out of shelter. Alex, Alex, would you allow him to just? He's already reacting to the issues. No, he's not. You are behaving like the way you responded to Fadi when he said this so-called. Uh, then oh, you have alleged Alex. this HIV thing about I, the president. Let, Yet you up. don't, you do, when it gets to Nanado, <laughs> you go all <laughs> out to, to run, the bank. Oh, but the okay. president okay. debunked right. the HIV okay. thing. Yes, yes. All right. he okay. has. Okay. 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 Right. Right. I've, I've, I've gone past A to close. Gentlemen, I have to wrap up. I have to wrap up. I have to wrap up. Gentlemen, I'm grateful. I am grateful, gentlemen. I'm grateful for your time this morning. Felix, right, I'm grateful. Felix Kachofusu is a Deputy Communications Minister and Alexander Finjomarken is a Member of Parliament for the Afutu to constituents. Gentlemen, I'm grateful for your time this morning. Thanks so much. Uh, up next is Natalie Fort with all the business news. All right.